Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing? And so I've been sort of jokingly calling this my blue period. Um, some famous artists, including Picasso, had a blue period. And so I've been sort of with everything um, or a whole bunch of uh, the whole fashion thing kind of moving toward the cool end of the spectrum, at least. For some of the holiday looks, I've kind of done that too. And um, so I've been experimenting with all sorts of different ways to do blue over the last year. And so, um, yeah, I'm really enjoying my blue period. I didn't think I would like cool colors as much as I did. I really didn't think that I would like blue as much as I do. I thought I would be more of a maroon burgundy kind of person. And actually I'm finding that I like the punch of the blue a little bit more than I thought I would. So I thought today we would um, go ahead and do a very blue look. And um, I'll go ahead and tell you about it. And um, no, I'm not going to only blue or cool tone looks. I'd like to do both. But this time of year sort of lends itself to the blue looks and the, um, and the um, you know, the more cool tone looks. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, but I will be doing both, so just to let you know. I do have the Glow Oil by Super Goupon and the House Labs. I have mine in Faircool 50, so that's what I have on there. And I wanted to see if it was as good as I thought it was. And the House Labs, uh, yeah, just really good foundation. Really good all the way around, all over kind of foundation. So, yep, really liking this one. And the Fair Cool 50 is good for a winter shade, but I'm thinking that I may be moving up to 70 for the summertime. Not quite sure, but I think that's probably going to be the way that it works. As far as what I did, um, I did go ahead and use MAC, and this is the Light, Rody, or Light Radiant Rosy Bronzer, so that's what I have on there. And I did go ahead and use the Pat McGrath, uh, Pat McGrath Bridgerton. This is uh, Blushing Delights, and I did go ahead and use... Um, this one right here uh, as far as the orange, as far as what I have on the cheeks today. So it's a baked blush. I think it came out really pretty. Um, I also used a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury in the pink to go ahead and get the look. And then I mixed in Maybelline Master Chrome in Molten Peach and Wet n Wild Foxtrot in Soft Rose Gold. So yeah that's a really hot i would call it um yeah a hot hot blush hot cheek hot look so yeah just put on as many orange fiery colors as i could there and a little bit of pink and then as far as going ahead and moving toward the eyes well actually let's do lips first uh so the uh, ColourPop Good and Plenty uh, as far as their uh, lip liner and the e.l.f. Jam. So that's what I have on there as far as lips go. And now we're moving toward the eyeshadow. And I started off with the Blend Bunny, the Sugar and Grunge. And so um, to go ahead and use this in the crease. And then this one on the outer corner. And a little bit of this on the inner corner from the bottom up to about there. So that's what I have on as far as the base colors that I have on today. Well, I have one other base color on. And actually it's from Luxy. And it's their November Rain uh, single. 
and so I went ahead and put that right on the outside of the eye right on the brow bone and so it's giving me a more of a periwinkle um, the other is moving or the other is more of a turquoise and then what's on the brow bone is actually more of a periwinkle and again it's the um, November rain shade from Luxie and like I said I was just playing today I wasn't really going for um, well, actually, to tell you the truth, uh, excuse my itch, but it's really itchy. Um, I was watching uh, Floating in Dreams, which is a YouTube channel, and she's based in the uh, UK, or not the UK, in Europe and Holland, or yeah, the Netherlands. And so the Cloud Nine, she was talking about how she got this uh, ColourPop palette. And up here, this is actually a holographic shade. And so it's a silver with all the other colors in it. So let me do a swatch here. And so I wanted to see if I really thought that this was a holographic color. And we'll do more of a... It's actually coming off really as a glitter. It's not really coming off as a as an actual eyeshadow. But yeah, that is more of it anyway. And so with the holographics, they usually have a gray base and then they have all of um all of the rainbow included in the actual eyeshadow or eyeshadow itself. And yeah. I could definitely see this one as um, <clears throat> being thought of as a holographic. I don't know. Let's see if we can do even a bigger swatch and see if I can get it to show up more. So, yeah, it does come off as a holographic. Maybe not the strongest one out there, but definitely a holographic. And I actually had that on the lid, and um, it's actually picking up the colors of the other shadows. So it isn't really, I expected it to hold its own more, and it's actually picking up the colors of all the other shadows. So it didn't do what I expected it to do, um, but here's the way it turned out. So I was expecting it to be much more of a punch of gray. And like I said, it really did take on the colors of the other shadows. And I wanted to go ahead and play with it to see if it was actually a real holographic. And I think it is, but I didn't expect it to go ahead and take on uh, the colors of the other shadows as well. But it kind of did. And here's another swatch of it. Maybe it... it um, yeah, for some reason it doesn't want to pick up on the camera very well for some reason. But yeah, it is a gray with all sorts of different colors in it, which sort of makes it a holographic. So yeah, um, pretty, 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 very, very shiny. And like I said, I wasn't expecting it to go ahead and take on uh, those other colors. I expected it to hold its own, but it didn't. So, um, I think that's the look for today. Like I said, I've been really enjoying my blue period. Um, I do <laughs> not, not ruling out other colors. I'm not only going to do blue, but I do realize that I have been doing much more in the blue area than I ever thought I would. So I just sort of wanted to kind of acknowledge it and just uh, really enjoyed the fact that I've been enjoying doing a lot of really blue eyeshadow. So um, I guess that's the video. I'll see you later. And yeah, yeah, it still doesn't want to pick up on camera, but that's a, well, it kind of picks up on camera. But um, anyway, thank you and have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.